you decided that having a kayak or canoe would be a fun purchase. But what boat will fit your needs? There are lots of choices. Let's take a look at some of the different boat categories that are available and some of the design elements that make them work the way they do. The first decision is which style of kayak is going to best suit your needs. Think of yourself on the water next summer. What are you doing? Cruising a local lake in a sit-inside kayak? Paddling in a slow river with your dog or friend? Fishing off a sit on top in the bay? Do you want to go for the weekend with camping gear on board? This is all possible with the boats we are going to explore. First off, let's define the boat categories and see how they relate to different uses. Let's start with the differences between a kayak and a canoe. The biggest difference is kayaks are paddled from a seated position with the seat very close to the floor of the boat using a double bladed paddle. Canoes are paddled sitting on a seat mounted quite a bit higher or kneeling with a single bladed paddle. Let's look at kayaks first. Some kayaks have a deck, which we'll call a sit inside kayak or sink for short and some have a deck you sit on, which we'll call a sit on top, or SOT for short. Sit-in kayaks are more protected from the elements and sleeker than a sit on top and better for covering long distances. Sit on tops are easy to board or depart from. Since they have no interior cockpit, there is no way for water to fill the boat. Water drains away through the scupper holes in the deck, which is good for rough conditions or paddling through surf. A canoe is open and roomy compared to a kayak. They're great because everything is right there in the boat with you. They're fairly stable and can be paddled solo or tandem, depending on the model. There is room for a dog and lots of gear with space to move around. The sitting position is comfortable and fairly easy to board and depart from. Both kayaks and canoes can be further categorized into three different styles of paddling. Whitewater, recreational, and touring. Whitewater is highly specialized, so we'll skip that in this presentation. Recreational style, or rec boats for short, are more open, stable, and user-friendly. They're good for people looking to get on calm stretches of slow-moving rivers, lakes, and bays with a minimum amount of chop or roughness. The touring class of kayaks and longer canoes, sometimes called tripping boats, are designed for more payload are generally more efficient at covering longer distances and can handle rougher conditions. Let's look at some design elements and performance characteristics of both kayaks and canoes. Depending on the hole shape, a boat may track well, be maneuverable, or designed somewhere in between. Tracking is the boat's desire to go straight or to turn. Tracking and maneuverability are greatly affected by the shape of the bottom of the hull. A lot of lengthwise curvature on the hull is called rocker and is a trait on maneuverable boats. A boat with good tracking will typically have a flatter or V-shaped hull without much rocker. Putting the boat on edge will make it easier to turn. Initial stability is the stability you feel when the boat is flat and has an even keel. The wider and flatter the bottom, the more initial stability. Secondary stability is recognized when the boat is leaning on its side or edge. Boats with good secondary stability usually have more flare or V-shaped sides. Speed and glide is the boat's efficiency moving on the water. Speed and glide are affected by hull shape and length. A longer length can give the boat speed and momentum, but the paddler must provide the horsepower to drive the longer length. Longer boats have more surface area because of their longer length. Wider boats also have more wetted surface area, which may slow them down. Greater surface area means greater surface friction. Longer boats are harder to maneuver in tight spaces. Payload is the boat's maximum weight capacity. Longer boats are more efficient at hauling loads. The rudder is a mechanical tracking device at the stern of the boat that is foot activated and can aid in steering and tracking. These are not usually found on recreational models. Learning how to pick the best boat for you will help you enjoy your time on the water. And remember to always use good judgment and not be out in conditions that might capsize you. Knowing your local waterway and possible dangers that exist 
is key to good safety on the water.